Hey guys, Green Landscaping here. Today's July 28th, 2012. Um, this is my new splitter. I bought this yesterday. It's a 6.75 Briggs and Stratton engine, 22 horse, no, 22 ton Husky log splitter. Right there. Um, I'm just going to do a review on it and I'm going to start it up real quick and explain when I brought it home and whatnot. Um, bought it last night. We've had some serious rain come through in the last couple days. I mean, like, pouring it does suck what can you do um but i brought this home last night um i haven't been able to find a truck anytime we're taking that thing down right there it's about 130 years old so there's no point in renting a splitter anymore these days um so i just went out and bought one um my plan is basically to i bought it for 1200 in the end and I plan to make my money back at least three-fourths of it by spring of 2013 um, I have let's see probably like 500 I'll probably make with it within the next by the time I go back to school probably actually um, what else so that's basically why I bought it. There's no sense in renting one anymore. Why not have it, own it, live in the woods? I don't really want to get into the wood business, firewood. It's really not that fun. Um, it's boring. And there's really not that much money into it. Well, there is money in it, but not unless you're efficient, which I'm not efficient with a Toyota Tacoma and a 6x10 trailer and one splitter and one guy. So, and I got no Bobcat or anything. So, and I got no property to put the wood on. So that's out of the picture. But, long story, man, short. This is it. Tusky 22 ton. Uh, I like to have the reflective tape on the back. It's kind of a cool feature. Um, this is no lights. Um, my plan when I tow this thing to job the job and move it, like distances, I'll be using my 6x10 work for it to put it up on. Um, I don't like towing this with the Tacoma. The Tacoma is a perfect truck to pull this with, but... Um, because this thing has no wheel wells, it kicks up a lot, and any time you go pretty much over 40 miles an hour, um, you're basically going to have this thing bobbing up and down like crazy and swiveling side to side. Because yesterday we were pulling it home, and it was about 6 inches of rain. The, road, the main road was flooded, and this thing was up in the air, basically. So, I don't like that. Um, so, I, that's why I'm going to tow it. And uh, also, you got no spare tire. So, what are you going to do if you have a flat tire? You know what I mean? call Jesus so and these tires are really easy to pop I hear you know if you hit this pretty hard coming off of a huge ass lip or something you're basically gonna pop that thing but other than that pretty much it 6.775 Briggs and Stratton um, the hydraulics work pretty cool they're pretty decent on it this is the tank there's a little um, screw right there big ass screw um, this is, I think this whole thing's a tank. I don't know exactly, but almost positive this whole bottom piece down here is the tank. Um, I mean, for the money, it's a pretty good deal. Most splitters, some splitters are up to like three grand, which is ridiculous for wood. Um, so for 1200 I think I did pretty good. Um, what else? Oh, when you bring this home, when I brought it home last night, it was about 8 o'clock, it was getting dark. So I just wanted to fire it up and throw it in the garage for the night. I wasn't going to do anything. I was just going to go out. So I go to start it and it wouldn't start. Um, and I was like, what the hell? And I pulled it probably like 60, 65 times. And I knew it was flooded probably by then. That's obvious. And that's not common with these brakes. I knew something was up. Well, I did some research on it and I found out that these engines do not run on 86 ethanol, which is what TSC puts in them. And I don't like that they put fuel in them. I don't think you should put fuel in to the machine until somebody buys it and you, you know, you're going to run it for them before you sell them, which I think every store should do is you should run the machine before you sell the machine, okay? That's, that's my opinion. If I were freaking the manager of TSC or Sears or whatever, that'd be my rule. Um, put the fuel in then because one of the reasons why is they leave these things outside, chained up. And the gas... Oh, I'm going to get there in a second because I still got some explaining to do. So I basically figured out what was wrong, changed the spark plug, put a champion in the spark plug. Um, then 
I got the... I took all the oil gas out of it, and I even drained the gas out of the carburetor and the lines because I don't like fuel in the carburetor mixed with a different 89, which is what I'm running in it now. Um, I don't like mixing fuels like that. So, I drained the carburetor, drained the glass lines, cleaned it all up and everything. And when I got into the carburetor, if some of you guys, which most of you guys know how to change and clean a carburetor, um, once you get in there, they have that upper lip. Well, there was grime all in that upper lip, so I knew this thing has been sitting for a couple months at least. Um, I didn't like that at all. So, I do want to write them a letter about that. Um, I thought that was a little bit ridiculous. But, God, what can you do? There's a diesel truck up on that road that just is, like, revving its engine. Anyways, I'm exhausted, guys. I'm sorry. But, the hydraulic on it's pretty nice. Uh, like I said, 22's on. Um, the one thing I don't like about it is, which I'm used to working with, when you pull it down, it doesn't go automatically right back up. You have to pull it. You run it up in here. I'll show you guys. This is down. When you want to go in reverse to let it go, if you go to, you just let it go into neutral once you finish loading the wood, it stays there. I don't like that. I think it should return back. So when you want to return it back, you put it up in that position, and when it gets there, it go. When it gets up, it goes, and it trots back into the neutral automatically. Um, oh, what can you do? It's a twelve hundred dollar splitter, not a three thousand dollar splitter. Um, I probably should put a little bit of oil in it. I needed some earlier. Um, I only ran it for about thirty minutes, probably max. Um, I don't like the gas tank on it. I think it's extremely small for the size of the machine. Um, it's only like a one and a half gallon, which is freaking ridiculous on a log splitter. And this thing burns through fuel, guys, I, in my opinion. So, I don't like that at all. Um, I think it's a gallon fuel tank because I had to drain this. Um, other than that, this thing disconnects to drop the whole entire hydraulic down. Then you just got to disconnect the lines if you're working on it, I guess. Um, I kind of want to take this pin and put it the other way. But, other than that, pretty nice splitter. I ran it for about 30 minutes, like I said. Um, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll give you a fire up of it. Um, this will be a warm start. But, uh, I'll fire it up for you. I'll run it real quick and put it back in the home position before I put it away for the night. Eight. Once I got it out, it started raining, which was on quarter, so. Jeez. Oh, right, I'll start it up for you. So there you go, there's the 22 ton log splitter. Um, I'm planning on taking this, oh, I'll show you it, and uh, welding it onto my tractor. I'm gonna have a buddy weld it up. This is the old hitch off of our Toyota. I just grind it off, I weld this right onto the back, like so, and then put a ball on it so I can move it around. That's my plan with this. Um, so, yeah, there you go. There's a little update of what I've been up to. So I got a log splitter. Um, my next buy. The truck the truck deals out here, guys, are just shit right now. I'm having a lot of problems with trying to get the auction and stuff. Hold of the auction. So they're shitty. So screw it. I'll wait till next spring so I don't have to start paying insurance on the damn thing this year. And I currently am not going to be able to use it until the fall, basically. So I'll buy one at the beginning of the spring next year, and it probably. Um, that'll be the ultimate plan. I bought this and I plan on buying a uh, Mac desktop at the end of summer. So, <coughs> look forward to doing an unboxing video of that. <coughs> I plan to get that, um, like I said, at the end of summer. Um, once I uh, put some money back into my bank account. 
But there you guys go. Um, I gotta go cut some grass tomorrow. That's about it. I got like five or six yards to do. Um, tomorrow's Sunday. I really didn't want to have to work Sunday, but what can you do? Um, yeah, so there you guys go. There's the log splitter. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think. If you have video requests, please send them. Let me know. Um, yeah, guys, see you later.